I think I'm gay. Fuck! Yeah, I've had boyfriends before. Well, one. Before Jay. Daniel. Daniel Lester. He was cute with um, blonde hair and like this scruffy almost beard. And? Well, he... I always had to plan the dates, start the conversations. He just sort of went along with it all, so. Sex good? He wanted to wait until marriage. Yikes. You did do it with Jay, though, right? Kelly, he's- A flaming homosexual! I know! I've been telling you that since September. <laughs> been telling him that since September. Wasn't my question. Ugh. Julie, don't tell me you're a 20-year-old virgin. Just stop talking! Only if you start talking, honey! Get your ass off your floor, tell your roommate to stop using you as a bench, go meet someone! Just- Next time you see a hot guy at a party, just go talk to him! You're cute, you're nice, you're single. People aren't scary, I promise. You just need to have a little confidence. I'm not confident. It took me a year to talk to gay Jay. <sighs> Look, you've done theater and shit, right? Just, it's all an act. Just pretend like you're playing a confident character. <sighs> Here's what we're gonna do. All right, from now on, before you go, I want you to look into this mirror and I want you to say, I'm beautiful, I'm smart, and I'm confident. Get into character. Do it until it's true. Do it. I'm beautiful. Yeah. I'm smart. I'm, sm I'm smart. Yeah. And I'm confident? Oh, honey. What? You're beautiful! I'm beautiful! You're smart! I'm smart! And you are so fucking confident! I'm confident! Yeah! Now go get him! Okay. She's gonna do great. I'm beautiful. It's not working, Kelly. Nothing's working. I'm a failure. Honey. Help me. Listen, baby, you'll get some soon enough. Just be patient and have, like, confidence and shit. I really need to go. I've got to get back on the highway. I mean, she's the one I'm late. Screw her. I'm... I plan on it. <laughs> Kelly, I, I can't do this alone. I'm sorry, dear. You're going to have to. Rilke. The poems of Rainer Maria Rilke. You have good taste. Thanks. I'm Jonathan. Julie. What's your name? Uh, may I? The nights are not made for the masses. Night divides you from your neighbor, and by no means are you to seek him out. And if you light up your room at night in order to look human beings in the face, you must ask yourself, who's? Shit, sorry about that. Hey, you want to go to the park? There's an art show going on. Sure, why not? Let's go. I think that we could look at all of the art and... Um, sounds great. Are you looking to buy anything for your dorm? Yeah, Jonathan! I tried texting you! Hey! 
Um, Casey, this is my friend Julie. Julie, this my is my- My roommate's gone, let's go, I'm horny. Hey, Julie! Hey! Satan from Psych Class, drop this. Oh. Thanks, Satan. So, uh, Rilke, huh? She any good? Never heard of her. First, it's a him, and you've seriously never heard of Rilke? Reiner Maria Rilke? No? God, he's only like the greatest poet who ever lived. He was this German guy back in the 1800s who wrote poems and novels and letters, basically everything. His poems, that got, sure, like his language is gorgeous and everything, but he just covers like everything in these poems. God, love, loneliness, death, you know? And everyone too, his poems aren't just like, I'm so disconnected. They're like, everyone is so disconnected. And it's just emotional and beautiful. And it's entirely possible. I've read every single one. And he just sat there smiling and reading me one of them. And never mind. You know what? Here. Human beings are horribly warped by the light that drips from their faces. And if at night they have gathered together, then you'll see a wavering world all heaped up at random. <laughs> Who writes like that? Moral of the story. We need to educate you. So, why'd you throw them on the ground? I mean, you talk about these poems, like, so passionately. It's almost like they're a part of you. And I've never seen someone treat a part of them like that. Or I guess I have. I just wish I hadn't. Not to mention it was a library book. <laughs> My gosh, shut up. I just, I was having romantic issues. Oh hell, that is right up my alley. I mean, like, what does it take for someone to notice you? I've been single all my life, and I look at my roommates, and they could just go out and pick up a chick every weekend, and I'm like, how the fuck <laughs> I know. My roommate had me doing this confidence thing. Oh, hell no. I know. I am beautiful, smart, and confident. It didn't work at all. Been there, done that. You know, you just gotta tell yourself there's more to life than sex. Yeah. It's not the sex, though. I, I mean, a bit. Yeah. I just, with Kelly off visiting her roommate in Chicago, it is so freaking quiet in that room, and I swear I can hear my heart beating, and I, oh. I, well, you know, there's a real simple and obvious solution to this. So simple and obvious that I have only thought of it just now. What? You know what you need? You just need... <laughs> a wingman! Oh my god, you're such a dork! No, really! It'll be just like the movies! A wingman! You just need one! Here I am! I don't know. Come on, it'll be awesome. Look out, boys and Shit's about to get real. <laughs> You're beautiful! <laughs> How about those red socks? I'm smart! You're smart! Have you guys met Julie? I'm confident! You're so fucking confident, bitch! Busy tonight. Every single one. So much for Project Wingman. Hey, well, don't worry. I mean, we'll get you laid soon. It might just take a <laughs> little. It's not the sex. It's not the fucking sex, Aiden, okay? Hey. I'm sorry. I'm crazy. I mean, I've got Kelly. I've got you. I've got lots of friends. Great friends. I'm sorry. I'm ridiculous. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's just 20 years, 20 fucking years, okay? I'm sure I felt loved, but I've never felt... I've never been someone's most important person. 
Even for a second. Is that selfish? I don't know, Julie. I mean, maybe you just haven't noticed. <sighs> Sorry, um, I'm ridiculous. Let's let's go on a walk. Uh sure. Hey, Aiden? Oh, just thanks. Thanks for everything. It's no problem. Wish I was a better wingman, though. <laughs> no, you're the best. Yeah, I should get a badge. <laughs> Man. Wow. Campus sure is beautiful at night. It sure is. Okay. So I think you're gonna like this guy. He says he's crazy for you. Really? Do I yeah. know this guy? Well, you might have talked to him a couple of times, but uh, you know, he says he says he thinks you're smart, and he thinks you're beautiful, and you know, he couldn't get him a fuck if you're confident. <laughs> okay. And sexy too. Okay. Where's this wonder guy? All right, all right. I'm gonna go get him. You ready? So I... I just might drown 